All right guys, what is going on? Today we are gonna to be testing a few different pulleys. All of these are from Thingiverse and I will put the links below. So if you guys wanna know, I saw them on Thingiverse. I wanted to know how much weight each one of them can hold. Here's the second style one. They're all a little bit different, but basically the same concepts, all pulleys and fit the same half inch rope. Um, this one is the last one. I think this is the nicest looking, most professional, but the D-ring, you need a shackle that goes through and I couldn't actually find the shackle that was the right dimensions. So for this, we're just gonna put paracord. There's two strands in here. Hopefully this won't be the weak part. But yeah, so we're gonna go through. I think this one's gonna fare the best. This one's gonna do the second best. And this one I don't have great hopes for, but it was the quickest to print and the, uses the least material. So let's find out. I'm gonna test them all like this. So this way the force isn't mag magnified and this way it just pulls and we figure out what the breaking strength of each one of these is all right guys this is pulley number one it is set for two inches per minute and we're gonna see how long it lasts All right guys, so this didn't even break 835 pounds. It broke the rope. The rope, um, I threw the other piece out, but that's actually what broke. So I'm gonna put it back through, we're gonna crank it back up and see what it does, because that is outstanding. Because while the bolt is holding the weight, all it has to do is separate this little bit of plastic in the middle, right there, and separate. So pretty and crazy, pretty crazy that 835 pounds didn't just rip this apart. So I'll set it back up, I'll see you guys over there. Okay, we, we set it back up. We're gonna test again and see if the rope breaks. I'll have to like double that up or do something if it gets past that 835 mark. Give it! That's three, and if the rope breaks again, then we'll double it up so then the rope is not the weak point. Let's see how it does. Time to double up the rope. So, didn't work last time. We've now put two ropes in there because they have the last rope broke at uh, an average of about 800 pounds. So, we're thinking we've doubled it. If it manages to break both of these ropes without breaking the pulley or crosses a thousand pounds, we're just going to give it the gold star because, when in reality, it's a three, the worst one that I thought would perform has now held 800 pounds. So, let's see how well it does. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. Oh. What are we, what are we, how do we test this? All right guys, this is what I'm talking about right here. It's maybe a quarter inch, maybe th a little thicker than that. And it's not very thick. Like it's very, very small. And this held 835 pounds. Both, both bolts not bent here. Well, he still spins. So as of right now, the one that I thought wouldn't make it probably over 100, 125 pounds. Just held 835 pounds. So we're gonna move on to this one. Uh, I'd be interested because this one was printed flat. This one was printed like this because it has the round. You can see it got a little bit messed up on the bottom, but on the top it did a good job. So we're gonna get it in there, see how well it does. And honestly, I'm, giving, I, I'm impressed already with the, the other one. Imagine this one breaks at like 100 pounds. We've now managed to have the rope pull out of the jaws again. They're not the biggest jaws, and that one pulled out, I think it was 791 pounds. So as of right now, this pulley has not broken with 800 pounds of pressure on it. It still spins, and honestly, I think it spins a little better than it did when we put it together. So we're gonna just move on to the next pulley, which is gonna be a bit harder because the next two, we can't use the blue rope through. And this paracord's only rated for 110 pounds, but I got it on two sides here, or two strongs through. This one we can fit a bunch through, so we can just keep adding, but I don't know. Right now, 800 is the number to beat. Here's the test of the next one. You can see the top rope's a little twisted, but we got it through. Hopefully this one will last for a little bit. If not, then we'll have to uh, send over a second rope or do something.
Thank God one of them broke. <laughs> what was it? What we got? So we actually, we got this one to break. I'm not sure what the focus is doing. You can see right here, where it broke apart right here, at 838 pounds. That's crazy that it took this much. This is a giant arm filament. I can link that in the description too because I've done a few tests and this is so far held up the best. It actually even dented the bottom of it when it bounced off and hit. It just destroyed it, but we finally broke one. Now we're gonna move on to the last one. Not sure how we're, what we're gonna do about the whole uh, paracord situation. Maybe if I had put a bolt through here and then just start putting more rope through. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out. Let's head over there, see how it does. All right guys, here's the last pulley. I don't know how well that paracord's gonna do, but I guess we'll find out together. impressed that the paracord lasted that long. All right, we're all set here. Test two, hopefully the rope will stay. Heyo, missed it again. Damn it. So there's a lot of times that I'm incorrect about statements that I make. This one made a 720 pounds, and you can see right here, it took the little little ears off where it is. It's a little piece, so it just, it came off and just pulled off. It's not very thick at all here, but it's probably not any thicker than this original piece. So we gotta figure out how to rip this one apart because the one that I thought would do the best broke the earliest, the one that I thought might do pretty okay, broke next. And then we're left with the one that we haven't been able to break, which is the simplest one to print and the easiest. Doesn't look the nicest. I kinda kinda prefer the way this one looks in a pulley, but hey, if this is the easiest to print, least material, and so far we haven't been able to break it, it's gotta tell you something. So we're gonna rig it up and we're going to find a way to pull this thing in half because I'm not leaving here until this breaks in half. See you guys over there. We're gonna just actually test the paracord because we wanna figure out if the paracord being much thinner than this will hold more weight. So we're gonna do a quick test, see how that does. Uh, I guess I'll leave it so there's, there's no uh, Zoom in on this. I hear a lot of, oh, oh no, oh no, it's, going, it's not going well. Didn't it just hold like 600 pounds though? No, it just holds 720 pounds. It's got this. So it held about eh, almost 500 pounds. So I don't know. It's not strong. 481.25. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, this is about the best I think we can do. Each side has six strings of paracord, so hopefully it will break, and if not, we're gonna crush it or beat it with a hammer because it's not leaving here without being broken, and so far it's beaten us. So, all right, let's see how well this one does. Damn it! All right, we've got the strings in there in a better manner. This has to work, Some, something has to work here. And we got six strings on each side. Well, probably messed up the focus. <laughs> I know, it's good. All right, let's rip this little pulley in half. How is this the strongest one? The full, 1,200 pounds and Ryan almost died. <laughs> Ryan almost died on that one. <laughs> All right. 
what completely stumped us, we got 1,202 pounds on this one. And you can see where it broke, came off, ripped here, and took both of the ears off. These were not 100% infill, they were 75% infill, but it's just crazy that the smallest one, the one that I assumed would fail first, is actually the strongest one and held over 1,200 pounds for a 3D printed part in PLA. That's insane. So, hope you guys liked the video. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe. This video took two hours longer than we thought it would, so let me know what you guys wanna see next. I can put anything that'll fit in Steve and clamp on. I can push or pull, so if you guys have ideas, please drop them below, and I'll test whatever I can. In case you guys want to know, there's pulley one, all of the tests we did there. There's the final one where it broke. These were all the rope failure. Here, pulley broke on the first one, pulley broke on the first one. So even the first test of the pulley where the rope failed, it still did almost better than the second pulley and it did, I don't know, was that 50% more? About 50% stronger than the other two pulleys with the least amount of material. Goes to show, looks don't always matter.